Hi guys, Chris here, and in this video, I want to answer a question which I know for a fact many artists have worried about whenever they upload their work to Redbubble. Who owns my copyright? Well, let's find out, shall we? Now, the concept of copyright is so misunderstood by people, and as a consequence, there is a lot of inaccurate and misleading information out there. So, first things first, all you need to know is that copyright is a legal right a person has in the creation of an original work. The specific law of copyright will vary from country to country, but the basic principle remains the same. If you create something artistic, using your own skill, labour, judgement, etc, it can be protected under copyright law, and you can prevent other people from copying your work without your express authorization. Again, depending on the country you live in, copyright may arise automatically, like in the UK, or you might need to register your work with a public authority. If you're unsure, do some research, and don't be afraid of asking for some free, impartial legal advice from an attorney. So naturally, people have also been worrying themselves over whether by uploading their work to Redbubble, they end up effectively transferring ownership of their copyright and losing all their rights in their work. Now I get it, it's confusing. And it does make some plausible sense when you think about all those hidden terms and conditions that are on, I don't know, Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is. But rest assured, with a little digging, the answer can be found in probably the least visited page of Redbubble's site, the user agreement. Now, when you sign up to Redbubble, like it or not, you are signing up to a legal binding contract. This is set out under the term legal agreement on the terms and conditions, where it says that by visiting and using the website, you are entering into a legally binding agreement. No real surprises there. The rest of it just talks about the usual stuff you'd find in a user agreement and is pretty standard boilerplate stuff. So what about the intellectual property side of things? What about your copyright? What happens to it when you upload it to Redbubble? Well, they have a nice little section on that, laying out the legal conditions for when you upload your work to Redbubble. By the way, although it's incredibly boring, I do always recommend that you check out the user agreements before you upload your own artistic work to any print-on-demand website. And there you go. Contrary to the rumors going around on the internet, Redbubble does not own your copyright. You own your copyright, nothing is transferred, when you upload it to the site. Interestingly, it also says that you grant Redbubble a non-exclusive royalty-free license to use and archive your content in accordance with what is reasonably contemplated by this agreement. Nice bit of legalese there. So what does that actually mean? To find out, we have to go back to the contents of the agreement and click on the part where it says intellectual property rights and license. Now, it's a bit long-winded, but what it essentially says is that by uploading your work to Redbubble, you are granting a non-exclusive, worldwide, royalty-free license for them to reproduce your work in ways which will enable Redbubble to run their business and to essentially profit from your work. So different to transferring ownership of your copyright, the license simply gives permission for Redbubble to use your work in its business. The license states that it is non-exclusive, meaning that you have every right to upload your work to other print-on-demand websites. It's also worth noting that the license is deemed to expire within a commercially reasonable time once you've removed or deleted your work from the website. Now, leave it to the lawyers to argue what a commercially reasonable time frame is, but it at least gives you that peace of mind knowing that once you remove your artwork from Redbubble, the license will at some point terminate. This, however, would appear to exclude anything submitted in user comments. So there you have it. 
Redbubble does not acquire or own your copyright and instead simply becomes a non-exclusive licensee of your work. There is no underhanded thievery of your intellectual property here. If you'd like to learn more about Redbubble and the wonderful world of print-on-demand income, feel free to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until the next time, stay sharp, stay hungry and stay cash bright.